What's up, you all? It's Rashawn, and welcome back to the lab for another edition of, you get it, yeah, 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 Q&A Friday. The K had nothing to do with that Friday. <laughs> welcome to Q&A Friday, and keep your questions coming. I've so enjoyed, you know, walking through the questions and getting an idea of how I'll answer these things to hopefully bring value to your life, right? And so, because you ask a question, it's gonna help so many people. It's like a compound effect, like compound interest. Put your money in the bank, they make all the money on your money while they give you change. But anyways, compound interest uh, is awesome. But I, I believe that like the Q&A Friday has a compound effect. One question helps so many people. So keep your questions coming. Um, this week, I wanna talk about a question uh, a guy asked me, he said, hey, when do I know when it's time to quit my job and go into all in on my business? When do I quit my job? Because I'm passionate about my business. I'm passionate about what I'm building. And I want to know when's the right time to quit my nine to five and go all in on my business. If you ask that question, and if you're, if you're considering doing the same thing, if you find yourself in limbo right now, chances are you're not ready to walk away from your nine to five. But Rashawn, I didn't want you to tell me that. That's not what I wanted to hear. Like, I wanted you to tell me today's the day to go all in. And I do. I feel like you can go all in on your business without walking out on your job yet. I do. And I, I know this I personal, personal experience, right? I know when it's time. And you'll know when it's time because your business will fire you from your nine to five. Like it will force you. You will not have any other choice but to walk away, right? Because you get to the point where you know that you're not running your business well and you're also not a great employee. And literally you don't have the capacity to do both anymore, right? Where now your business is producing income. Your business is taking up so much of your time, so much of your capacity that you have to trim the fat of your nine to five and walk away, right? Most people aren't there. Most people feel the intensity, the passion, the motivation, the energy around their business. And because they no longer feel that about the nine to five, they think it's time to walk away. When really their business is not in position to sustain the success that it's having. You need to create systems in your business. You need to create the right logistics. It needs to be producing revenue. It literally, you need to get a plan, an exit strategy before you just exit the nine to five off of a feeling, right? You will not have a choice. It will be so easy for you. So clear. You say, like, I can't do this anymore. I don't have the capacity. So the answer to that question is your business will fire you from your nine to five, right? And if you're asking that question, you're probably not ready because there wouldn't be a question to ask. It would be a decision that would need to be made. So, hey, that's just Q&A Friday. Don't walk away from your 9 to 5. Let your business drive you away from your 9 to 5. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Q&A Friday. Keep the questions coming. I'll see you back here. I'll be wearing a different shirt maybe next week for Q&A Q&A Friday. Love you.